Hey folks, how we doing today? This is BBC Shelton back again with uh, another kind of how-to or fix for a tablet. Uh, today we're looking at the HP 7 1800 tablet. Uh, from what I've read, it was a Black Friday special at Walmart um, maybe two or three years ago. I didn't get the exact year. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, while looking around, we've had another tablet issue with like the next book series, and I took a fix from that and tried to apply it to this, and it kind of seemed to work. So let's go ahead and get started here. So we have the HP 7 1800. It's an Android, and the fix that I use on the next book was to unhook the internal power supply the battery pack and it kind of reset the system however and it would bring or take a next book 7 or the next book series tablet that wouldn't start and it would let the tablet start again this one didn't have that trouble this one had a uh, problem with charging we would plug it up and it would say 100% charge and then when you unplug it it would either immediately immediately die or the power would drop to like 7, 12, some ridiculously low uh, number. So what I did was I removed the back cover. This is the back that we're looking at and it's real easy. We'll get a good close up here. These little snaps right here are the only things holding it in. And all you do is just find one little corner, work your way out, and then just unsnap it all the way around. And if for whatever reason you need to order replacements, uh, there's the replacement number. Uh, it seems like uh, HP has done a lot of that in here because a lot of stuff has the stickers for <laughs> the replacement items on it. Uh, the big silver thing right here with the yellow strips of tape on it is the battery. It's a 41 milliamp hour battery with 3.7 volts. I'll get a close up of that so you can see that. And if you need a new battery which I was about to do until this actually worked. So there's the number for a new battery. <clears throat> so what we did, or what I did, was you have the battery and here are the wires coming off of the battery. This is where the battery connects into the main board. So all I did was I disconnected the battery here, this little white terminal or plug goes into that black end right here. Um, you can use just about anything. I just try not to touch the board with whatever I'm using. But I just push on one side and then the other. And just kind of take your time and be easy with it. You don't want to break the wires. And just kind of ease it out. And you can kind of tell when it's loose. Just reach in and pull it out for a second. And that disconnects the power to the rest of the tablet. So once it's set there for a few seconds, try to get my fingers out of the way, I plug it back in. And even though I'm pretty sure that it's in, I still take a utensil and just kind of push against it kind of gently to make sure it's snugged in there. Once you've done that, take the back cover, align it. The best way to align it is you see the little cut out here, and if you match it to the headphone jack, and then you just start snapping it back into place. 
and just snap all the way around. This is uh, easier to open now since my children got a hold of it and they had actually dropped on this corner and chipped that part off. So if you're looking at the overall build quality of it, it handles all right, but just keep in mind if you drop it, not necessarily the best thing. I'm just glad it was a cheap tablet. The only reason we have this was my wife wanted something to read her college books on. So she just wanted a cheap thing. I think we picked this up for like 40 or 50 bucks at one of these little electronic show sales. So make sure I get everything snapped in here. Just double check over it. All right. Hold the power key down just to make sure it'll boot up. And I apologize for all the handprints there. And the smudges. Yeah. So it's booting up. Now you can see the reflection of my camera there. And me. Hey. Give it a moment to finish booting up. Apparently my wife's been using it because it says connect the charger. But you can see after she's been using it, it is at 12%. I was only aware that she's been using it. so. But it will hold a charge now. Um, it'll operate as normal. And that just seemed to be a quick fix. Will this necessarily fix your tablet? I'm not sure. I've seen that there are other issues with this tablet. Just I'm assuming because it's such a cheap kind of build. I mean, obviously, if it's a Black Friday special, that's not going to be a real high-quality product, in my opinion. It's going to be something to make a quick dollar. But anyway, um, if that doesn't seem to work for you and you're having trouble with charging, if that doesn't work, I would recommend trying to get a new battery, which you can always go to Amazon and um, find replacements, usually fairly cheap. Uh, I think I found one, it wasn't on Amazon, I believe it was on another website, but I think I found a replacement for like 15 or 20 bucks, so... If anybody's interested in that, let me know in the comments below and I'll research it and post a link back in here. Um, if you have any other questions about this or any of my other videos, just leave a comment in the section below. I'll also put links to my social media. I'll put them in the description area and I'll probably put them somewhere in the video. Probably have something pop up over here and over here. Just so you can make it an easy click and be sure to thumbs up, like this video. And feel free, like I said, join me on social media, Fitter, Twitter, Facebook, Fitter, uh, yeah, Fitter or Tastebook, either one. Can't talk today. So once again, thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.